Well, good morning. It is a absolute gorgeous morning. First day of West Virginia archery season. And uh, I'm not hunting, but I'm just out watching some deer from my house. I specifically built my house here so I could see a lot of deer. <laughs> and there were a couple does out this morning. No bucks, but that's pretty typical for this area, at least uh, this time of year. There's hardly ever any bucks here till uh, late October. So once late October gets here, we'll start seeing some antlers around. We got some six-year-old girls soccer today, their first game, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> but I'm going to catch that before I head out and uh, head down to my farm to go hunt. But, oh, man, it's so nice, and it just feels right whenever it is archery season in West Virginia. Once that comes in, then all is right with the world. Oh, man, it's beautiful. <laughs> There's still a doe right here she just blew at me <laughs> 20 yards away I could already feel the tag well if you've watched on Appalachia for the last couple years you might have noticed that uh, all of the videos and pretty much any content that I would put out pretty much dropped off in the last year well this uh, cat right here is the reason aren't you you're the reason I don't kill big bucks. You're the reason I don't kill big bucks. You're the reason I can't kill anything. No, Jack. Uh, Jack's a little over a year old, and uh, I'm super excited to get this kid in the woods. He is a absolute wild man, nonstop from the second he wakes up to the second he goes to bed. So it'll be fun once he's old enough to start going out and playing in the woods. <laughs> yeah, they don't really mention that uh, going from one kid to two kids is like all that hard, but it kind of is. You thinking fart noise? Come on now. So my wife is going to watch the kids this weekend, and I'm going to get down to the farm and do some hunting. But first, we got to go watch sissy soccer game, don't we? Yay, soccer! <laughs> anyway, we got to head to soccer. Good job, Mira. Good job. Yay! Good job. Go kick it, else. Good job. Get it, else. Good job. Get it, Elsie. Go. Good job. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. See how good of a soccer player you are. I'm a great soccer player. Yeah. You want to talk about your injury? I got hurt. Oh man. Hello, lady. You ready to go to the farm? You ready to go? Let's go. All right, so just realized we have a bit of an issue. Actually, a pretty big issue. Um, possibly a very costly issue for me. Um, I went and was doing a last check of my gear and my GoPro Max, the 360 cam, is not on my backpack. I hunted yesterday morning on uh, the urban hunt in Bridgeport and I remember getting down out of my stand strapping my GoPro um, the mount that I use and the GoPro to my pack and when I got to my truck I put the pack in my uh, deer sled in the bed of my truck and it's got my truck has a cover on it so a lot of times that's just where like my gear generally stays like if I'm leaving soon to go on another hunt um, and it's not there it's not on the pack it's not in the pack it's not in the jet sled it's not laying around in the bed of my truck it's not anywhere so I guess uh, we just left 
I'm gonna go down to Bridgeport and me and Annie are gonna go walk. The bad thing is, after I got out of my stand, I didn't take a direct route to my truck. I took, I uh, went scout, scouted some spots. It was only 11 acre parcel, so it's small, but went and made a big loop, basically. And uh, that thing has to be somewhere in that loop, I'm guessing, I don't know. Um, I don't know, it's a problem. I don't want to uh, have lost a freaking 360 camera because they're not cheap. But we're gonna go check that out. It is 115, so <laughs> uh, the likelihood gets less and less of me actually getting to hunt this evening, which is exactly what I didn't want to happen. However, you gotta be a dad too. So, you know, soccer game had to happen. Uh, wasn't much choice in the matter so we're gonna head down to Bridgeport first see if we can find this camera and if not then I guess just get back in the truck and go south till I get to the farm and deal with whatever I don't know it might cost me a couple hundred bucks which isn't uh, good and uh, I guess if my wife is watching this, she'll know that my new 360 camera um, is gone. Oops. Well, Annie and I just walked same route that I walked yesterday scouting twice and no camera I don't know I felt like I that 360 cam should have if I dropped it it would have been pretty visible so maybe I did drop it and somebody came either yesterday evening or this morning that was something there and picked it up and now they have a new camera so Hopefully, if that's the case, it was someone who needed a really freaking cool second angle. Because <laughs> they got one, courtesy of uh, yours truly. Uh, I don't know. We're just going to get down the road and uh, make lemon out of lemonade, I guess. Make lemonade out of lemon. Make chicken salad out of chicken shit.
absolutely no intentions of shooting that doe. I didn't want to. It's 9.15 and it's about the time that buck had been coming out. And then she blew at me. <laughs> she, I, I, I knew what was going to happen. I knew my thermals would start rising once the sun come up and start rising up across this field. The wind's coming back in my face and when the thermals were dropping we were uh, in real good shape but as soon as they started rising I could tell what was going to happen and if that buck would have come across that field I'd say he'd have busted me for sure this doe got in front of me and smelled me she got a good whiff of me but she wasn't going to spook she uh came down and got around me and then got freaked out and I think she probably smelled where I walked in and then come back out across and I hammered her pretty hard I'm using uh, my favorite mechanical broadhead the G5 dead meat broadhead and they came out with a two inch version of it and uh, man I could see blood just pouring out of her and she crashed just down over the hill um, but it's exciting. I did really didn't want to kill a doe today. Um, I had zero interest in it, but don't blow at me. <laughs> Just don't do it. I want to hang in here and uh, see if anything else comes out, but at least we had a successful hunt this morning. Fresh deer meat. <laughs>